Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today I'm going to be trying out something interesting. So if you can't tell, I moved into a new place and I was worried that I had low ceilings and wasn't going to be able to jump rope. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I absolutely love jump rope. It like transformed my body over the summer and so now that I moved, I wanted to hop back into it. I mentioned it on my Instagram and one of my friends actually mentioned to me that there's things called cordless jump ropes and I was like, what? What? That makes so much sense. So I did a little research and I hopped on Amazon to find one and I bought it. So I'm going to try that out today. We're going to go through the workout that I actually did over the summer that I got great results from and we're going to test and see like does this actually work or not. One thing I will say is that I do, I am in fact able to jump rope. I can just show you guys. I actually can jump rope in my apartment which is really great. Just in the event that maybe I don't want to I don't know, bang the floors with this or whatever, I'm gonna try this cordless one instead. This is the one that I got. This is the electronic counting skipping rope. Got it on Amazon. I'll post the price because I don't remember it right offhand. I was really nervous because when I opened it, I saw a rope and I was like, no, I didn't want the rope. But if I keep looking inside, here is what I'm going to be attaching. So these are little balls <laughs> attached to a rope. And I guess that's supposed to help in terms of like finding your pace, I'm gonna guess. I like how it comes in this little couch. This would be great for when you do go traveling. Can you see that? Yes. On, set, up, and down on here. So if I turn it on, it actually turns on and it looks like this. Anyway, on the other side is where you're supposed to attach the rope. There's a little screw probably to change the batteries and some little stuff. Let me look up my weight in kilograms so that I can fill this out correctly. Okay, so I set everything up. I think I did them about the correct angle. How funny that this matches my outfit, but that's besides the point. I'm also, by the way, wearing a girlfriend collective set. This obviously circles around so that it can move with you and then you attach the end. I guess, ooh, this is weird. <laughs> I guess it's like this. This is gonna be really tricky. That's why it's important to do a workout that you're used to, I feel like, so that you're not like trying to think about what else is going on while trying to get the handles of this, because I already feel like it's gonna be a little awkward, but that's okay. I'm gonna put the timer on. I'm gonna pop in something to watch and enjoy while I do my jump rope, and let's get into working out with these cordless jump ropes. Okay, so I just finished one set and as you'll see, it's like a lot of back and forth. It definitely takes some getting used to. I think I need to double check because like the first time I did it, it wasn't going, it wasn't counting. So I was just jumping for fun. It's not bad, it's useful and it's nice because now I won't have to stop from like hitting myself with the rope or anything like that. That was just one go through. I'm gonna do another round because I actually don't feel like completely dead. Uh, it's such a good sweat. I haven't done that workout in like, at least like three or four months and I forgot like how I forgot how good it is for the full body so I'm excited to go through with round two again. If you see I keep kind of like moving my arms around throughout the workout because I was trying to loosen my tension that I have here and just kind of relax it but then also figure out the way to to properly spin the balls basically so that I was feeling like I was jumping like in the correct time. But I think this is really, really, really cool. It actually is really convenient once you get the hang of it. There's a bit of like a learning curve. I also started using my phone as a timer just to make sure. I am 
done with my workout. And for $15.99, basically $16, I definitely think that overall this is really good and I'll probably use it again. Obviously this was just my first time so there's gonna be like a little bit of a learning curve figuring out when it's actually set versus um, just jumping and not recording. I do like that there's a countdown or you could do laps if you want. It records your weight, it records your calorie burning, all that kind of stuff. So that is pretty interesting. For me what was the most important was the countdown for a minute and then it's also nice to see how many jumps I am doing with this versus when I was using a rope. In about a minute, I do 145 to 150 jumps, and that's definitely much higher than what I used to do with the rope. When I had the rope, I would do like 120 to 130 jumps, so it definitely helps you to jump more and you know get more of a workout in. So to keep track because like if you hold tension, you could end up like swinging it more than what you're actually jumping. I found that when I started to switch to one legs or try to be creative, uh, this would like bounce a little bit more, and I was like, okay, I need to get back into my rhythm, uh, which wasn't hard to do, but it just takes a little adjusting so I think that this is a great alternative if you cannot jump rope with a regular rope you're, sh you're new to jumping rope and you're just like you no know, you keep always hitting yourself this is a great alternative uh, some other brands had like the like a bigger weight on here and so uh, I had heard things about it, like flying off this has like little silicone like secure things so I don't think it's going anywhere and I also like that it didn't pull too much. Things that I need to do is that I need to not hold so much tension so I try to have like a looser grip and to try to relax uh, in my shoulders and stuff because at first I was kind of like going like this trying to hang on to something. I'll have these linked down below if you're interested. I'm sure that there's other brands worth trying out. I went with the digital one because I wanted to have a little bit of a tracking device. Definitely a great affordable alternative. So thank you Amazon. Thank you to my friend that suggested this. I just hit myself with this so it's time to go. That is my review on the cordless jump rope from Amazon. Comment down below if you have ever used a cordless jump rope, if you have any tips for anyone. And uh, if you're curious, if you've never done this before, would this be something that you would try. Let me know in the comments. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.